Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Waffles here, and today we have a Ghost Simulator video. Haven't done one of these in a good minute, but today, um, the first game that I play, that uh, I play regularly, that is, has released um, the Halloween update. What I mean by that is, like, Murder Mystery 2 won't be released till probably next week, or maybe this weekend if we're lucky. Uh, Assassin is probably not going to be released till either this weekend or next week as well. Um, Arsenal, I don't think they've released an update. I don't, know, I don't even know if Arsenal will, but the point is Ghost Simulator has had a Halloween update. Uh, we're going to be checking it out. I'm going to be running you guys through it real quick, and then maybe we'll be able to get in. And there's a new boss, uh, which is cool. It's like one of those mega bosses. So first thing you're going to want to do when you uh, enter the lobby is come over to this little tram to stand in the circle. Uh, and you'll be teleported, it's kind of its own special area, and I don't, I haven't heard the music, so I'm really looking forward to this right now. I, I really hope it's different. Alright. It's called Halloween Mansion, if you didn't know that. Which... Yo! Oh, that's awesome! They gave it its own music. Alright, what does the sun say? More coming soon? Yeah, so the, the Halloween update isn't even finished yet. And it's already amazing. All right, all right, so I'm gonna walk it through. First thing you're gonna uh, see when you pop in here is this will come up. Uh, it's kind of a Halloween pass. Um, I already bought it, so I'll be showing you guys the stuff. It gives you a pet. Uh, it's a limited pet. It's pretty cool. It's a godly. It gives you a godly board limited. Um, I'll show you guys that as well. You get times three candy and times two skeleton keys. Um, there is a cell thing, so once you finish va vacuuming up, um, spooky ghosts, um, which there are like four types of spooky ghosts added to this update, uh, you can sell them. There's the shop, like standard, there's a Halloween crate, this is what they look like, uh, there's the sinister, pumpkin, static, Frankie, angel score, vampire, and a godly, I'll show you what the godly looks like in just a second. Uh, and then the Halloween crate, there's the broom, the fire brooms, uh, poison spike, and the rest in peace uh, tombstone gravestone thing and then also a godly so let me show you those godlies real quick um, so if you buy the pass the godly that it gives you let me find it it's back here uh, it's called specter it's three little spooky block ghosts it has a times point uh, 23.32 uh, vacuum boost rate and times 10.72 ecto token boost rate uh, it's pretty cool Look at my inventory, not flexing all the uh, witches I have. And then um, the hoverboard, if you buy the pass, it is you get soul fire. It looks like this when you uh, hover. It's pretty cool. Look at that. It has its own little effect. It's got little stains on the bottom. It's uh, very similar to the uh, magma one, if I can find it here. Uh, if I can find it. Uh, it's like, it's really close to the flame board. But it's uh, blue and it's a little skinnier. Not to mention this one's going to go limited uh, after the event's over. So I would recommend picking it up. And there are two godlies that you can unbox. The pet godly is already was already technically announced. Um, it was someone, a fan designed the image. It's called uh, the Electrios. I unboxed this like 10 minutes ago or something. Um, it has three different emotions. Sad, happy, and angry. Um, it has a times 23.32 boost, uh, vacuum boost, and times 10.72 ecto token boost. It's pretty cool. Um, I like it. It's probably going to be one of my favorites. If I can get six of them, I would. I wouldn't necessarily rock it, but I would definitely like to have that for collection purposes. And then the godly, I already unboxed two that you can get. Um, the hoverboard is called the bug. It looks like this. It's a spider. Uh, it's pretty cool. It has a web effect. It also has a purple effect when you move. So, purple and black effect. And then the, the webs uh, what are when you're, like, hovering in place. Also, they follow you around. It's a pretty cool board. Um, I know they've put more detail into this one than um, some of the other ones. So, it's pretty cool. And uh, this update has so much going on. So, basically, if you guys have been to the Ghostly Castle, you can get um, these little micro chip things i don't know what like those things are supposed to be like flash drives but uh you um exchange those for free rewards so it's the kind of the same thing every time you beat the boss um you get one skeleton key if you have the pass royale you get or not pass royale sorry i'm used to saying that if you get the halloween event pass the same thing but if you buy that you get two skeleton keys uh you can exchange one for either uh, a chance at either a common uncommon or rare 
uh, over here. You can exchange 5 for either a rare or a legendary. You can exchange 25 for an e either a, a legendary or godly. And you don't get to choose. And then the big boys over here are 250 keys each for either... Um, you can buy either the mythical pet, which is what I'm saving up for, or the mythical hoverboard. Um, and the hu I'll, I hope I can show you what the hunt looks like. It takes a lot of time. So that's that. Um, they also brought Bo back. If you guys played in the dinosaur event, uh, he was here. I think that he's going to be a reoccurring character in all of these kinds of limited events. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I have three skeleton keys right now. And I get two for every single one. And I have to save up 100, 250 of them. So basically... 250 divided by 2 is 125 so I have to beat the boss 125 times to buy one of these I have to beat the boss 250 times to buy both of those so I'll best I'll, I'm gonna buy the pet and then uh, maybe trade for the board or something or maybe I don't, I've seen the board it doesn't look that cool uh, the pet I would definitely like, like I would recommend you guys get that so yeah um that's pretty much the rundown um, I have to salvage some pets and stuff. I've been grinding in the past day or so. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Oh, the store reset. Um, there's a new treats legendary board. Do I have enough for it? I do have enough. Let's go ahead and buy that. Uh, so the treats board is gonna, it's pretty cool, I guess. I don't think I'll be equipping it. There's also a jack-o'-lantern for 800 Robux. Uh, has the best boost rate so far from the purchasable shop, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. It also is going to be a pretty cool limited because, you know, there'll be a different one every Halloween. So, you know, it's pretty dope. So that's it so far. But as you can see from this, more coming soon. There's going to be more pet and um, hoverboard crates. The They might put something through here. I don't know. I feel like this gate is going to go somewhere. You can already see that they've been working on it a little bit. So maybe there's going to be like a, another part to it. That would be pretty cool. Um, Bo's quest has 21 parts to it. It is a skippable quest line. How much does it cost again to skip? Let's just find out real quick. It costs 150 Robux to skip. Um, but I guess you could easily do them. You can also find ghosts out here. Uh, they spawn in the hay maze and right outside of the hay maze. So that's pretty cool. I need some more of these guys. And something that's nice about these ones is they're like non-lethal. The ones inside of the um, Halloween mansion like shoot little spitballs at you like purple spitballs and yellow and orange spitballs and it's really weird but you know what it's all good um, I will say that the um, boss makes you rage when the laser locks onto you because you can't get out of that if it locks onto you and then it'll take like at least 40 or 30 health away from you so yeah game over basically if you get hit by that laser twice and you'll already have gotten damage from um, the, uh, like, all the pets, like, sh that shoot spitballs at you, basically, so, it, it's a hard quest to get 250 keys, and I don't think they're tradable yet, um, and that's, that's something that really sucks, um, so, yeah, that's pretty much that's what's going on, uh, we're just waiting here for the hunt to finish, the hunt itself, depending on how many people you take, will take up to, like, 15 minutes like it can I can see it going for half an hour at, at most um, so yeah it's it's definitely a long it takes a lot of time and effort uh, it's not as easy as the dinosaur one where it would fly around and knock you around you could basically like do nothing this one is just like the mega boss thing that's the uh, that's over in the ghostly islands it, it's it's tough so you have to pay attention it's, it's not one of those ones where you can AFK and you'll be fine. So, uh, yeah. Alright, so we need six... We need one more Scarecrow and some more Vampires. So let's go ahead and start sucking Vampires up. So yeah, while you're waiting for the hunt to finish, you can just work on your quest lines, you know? Um, so that's dope. For some reason, the... Uh, these aren't as fast. Like, I would be able to instantly vacuum something that has 250 health up, but for some reason they've, like, buffed it. 
All right, the hunt is ready. We're going to be going in in just a second. I'm going to see how many vampires I can get before it starts. There's like a 1 minute and 30 second wait time anyways. So we'll be watching that. 56 seconds. All right, I have 50 seconds to finish shipping this up. Um, and obviously I'll complete the quest um, in the mansion. But yeah, all right. So we're going to just head over. Um, in order to get in, you have to be on the spawn pad right here. Uh, there's different rooms, and I'll be showing you that in just a second here. We're just waiting for it to load. And as you can see, this is the biggest uh, event so far. Like, look how many pets there are. Look how many um, hoverboards there are. It's, it's amazing. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's going to be a hard quest to complete fully. So, I wouldn't expect... To, like don't don't expect you that you'll complete it fully. I mean, I'm not discouraging you. I'm just saying that you might not finish it completely. Get in quick, 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 quick. Good job, good job. All right, so we got five people. I think the max you can get in here is like the entire server. So it's what twelve or something. All right, so this is the first room that it spawns you in. Um, as you can see, they're like shooting little purple things. Um, yeah, so that's what they do. And also, if one uh, if you get too close to them, they'll bite you. Uh, that goes for all three of the pets. See, yeah, I just completed the quest. So yeah, you have to stay you have to stay a good distance, but you also have to uh, avoid the uh, little spitballs. I'm calling them spitballs because they're that's literally what they remind me of. Uh, it's pretty easy not to take damage in the early stage. Um, and then I see once you uh, vacuum up a certain amount. It'll tell you how many you need to vacu uh, vacuum up. You have to wait for everyone to uh, come through. So yeah, that's how this works. See, there's 24 remaining. Uh, you kind of just wait for them to spawn in. They spawn in pretty quickly. After that, just got to suck them up, and then you'll be good. Uh, this These stages go by pretty fast. It's pretty much the boss room that takes the longest, in my opinion. Uh, there is two more rooms after this before the boss room, so there's a total of five rooms. Uh, it's it's a pretty pretty decently length quest. So after this one, I will have five keys, assuming I don't die, and I will show you um, how what I mean by like dying to the boss because of a laser. He shoots a laser, and it's so overpowered. I swear. All right, so see, you go through here. Next room. Someone said, um, "Am I trading Void Runner?" Uh, I don't know if there's anything I would want from your inventory, to be honest, dude. Yeah, sorry, dude. I don't think there's anything that you could give me that I would want. Um, so yeah, just kind of gotta vacuum them up. Uh, we have to do 30 something in this room. You can look at the top of the screen. I'm, I don't remember how many it was. Um, and then for. Uh, the next room you have to vacuum up 50 and then it's the boss room the boss room is pretty big uh so and it doesn't have any mini bosses like you know these things they don't spawn which is really nice so this is the second to last room this is the boss room right there so as you can see it's pretty cool uh pretty big let's say see so, yeah, it you can hear it has pretty the halloween music i think they did a good job on i'm glad that they didn't just keep the same uh, spacey music that they put on all of their uh, extra bonus biome things like Ghost Islands. The other past two events had the same music. Um, so I'm really glad that they put in some special music. And I'm looking forward to Christmas event. If this is going to be so big, we're probably going to be taking on a, like a, a deranged Santa. Like if you can imagine that. Like I feel like that's what we're going to be taking on for Christmas. So yeah, you can farm a lot of candies um, by doing this. I have the pass, so I get times three candies, which is epic. So I would honestly just buy the pass. If you are dedicated to this game and you know you're gonna be playing it for a while, you you enjoy playing it, buy the pass, dude. You're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna get so much more out of it. All right, so once everyone comes through here, the boss spawns in right in the center there. We're just waiting for this guy. Boom. This is what he looks like. Uh, he's pretty cool. Yeah, the boss has, um, yeah, just like the other one, it has its own shield. You have to shoot at it to get the shield down. Oh, okay, he's starting immediately, so yeah. He has, like, four or five moves. One of them is that, the room goes black, and he jumps uh, at a player. It's not random. This is his other move. Uh, it's where he just selects a, uh, a player and 
like literally drags his head on the floor, goes after them. So he's gonna do it again. This time, I don't know. Oh, he's locked onto that guy. So yeah. Um, he has like a bunch of moves. That's see. You should be able to find him pretty easily. Um, if you just search around the room with your cursor, you can locate him and shoot at him while he's teleporting there. This is a move uh, that he has. It doesn't really do anything if you're on a hoverboard, but it's like every other boss. They slam into the ground. Um, to get a ton of damage done, you need to come in close and uh, suck him up. These guys are doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. Uh, thank you for pointing that out. They're clearly not smart. Um, then, so I've played this boss like three times now, and it's honestly the pattern is really easy. He does this. There's one where that he like launches this little head. It goes after a player because of random uh, AI targeting. There's one where he'll uh, slam on the ground and hands will come up. There's one where there's a laser and it'll randomly select someone and lock on, and then um, ah, and then begin targeting them. Um, there is one where he'll start, um, like if you're on a hoverboard, he'll grab a hold of you and then pull you towards him. Just get off of your hoverboard, you'll be fine. Can't say the same for all the other ones. Okay, so he's about to go down again here. So yeah, everyone just gets on. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, uh, that's one of the patterns. The second time that you lock onto him and destroy his shield, it only lasts for about three seconds before he gets back up. But that's that only happens once, okay? So don't don't worry. That only happens once. See, you can find him before he even lands because uh, your cursor will automatically lock onto his position. It's probably gonna be over here. Yep. So yeah. Um, obviously, if you're trying to get the mythics, it's gonna take a lot of grinding. I could see myself taking about this since it's on the weekend. I'll probably waste a good eight or so hours, um, and that that even that probably won't get me the mythic. He's gonna spawn same spot. So yeah, just get up to him. Yeah, so. You might have noticed how it got really fast down at the beginning, it got to 76. Um, all of the mega bosses have the same health characteristics, where like, the first one, uh, it'll go down really quickly to give you like encouragement, then it'll slow down because it doesn't want to be overpowered, and then, oh see, I just got hit because I'm an idiot, because um, I wasn't paying attention. But that punch does, t uh, depending on if you get directly hit or not, it does uh, a certain amount of damage. So yeah, right there I got hit with Tenny, uh, Tenny, Ten, um, that corruption bar, so I'll explain the two bars, I can't tell if the head is going after me or it is, okay. Um, the corruption bar is your health, once that hits 100, you are, uh, out. You don't get any rewards, you're out. Uh, and that's what sucks. Um, and then once it hit, its health hits 0%, uh, percent, then you beat it, congrats. It's awesome. So yeah, uh, the boss isn't that hard, it is extremely annoying, like it's not like a normal boss where you can just sit there AFK and get some free ectoplasm. Uh, this is, see this is the hand move, I just want to get a close up, see like look at that, the hands, he slams his uh, hand on the ground and some uh, undead hands come up, uh, it's pretty cool. So yeah, once you learn the patterns of the boss it's not that hard to beat, uh, sometimes there will be bugs where it glitches out and you can't do uh, health damage to him, and it's really annoying, trust me. Um, but you just gotta keep going. Um, once it hits about 10%, or you know, under 20, like right now, it's gonna start doing lasers. Um, it's locked onto me right now, so this is what it does when it locks onto you, just goes after you. Um, if you have a hoverboard, you should be able to outrun it. I have the turbo boost on the hoverboard, so I am like, great. Yeah, he's Naruto running. <laughs> so this is probably the best group. I don't think anyone's died yet. Um, usually when I do this, and there's like six or pe six people or something like that, I'm always the last one alive, and uh, that goes for every boss. See, this is the laser thing. Uh, once it locks onto someone, it locks on and keeps taking away damage, so you have to try and be as far away from the boss as possible. Uh, that's the laser thing that's really annoying. It can get you. All right, uh, this should be game. 
So yeah, it has some cool music, and then you get to go through a cool ender portal. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Laser beam is annoying, yes. Um, not the YouTuber, I love the YouTuber, no homo. Um, but the uh, laser beam that it does, and then, bow, you get some free candies. Uh, so that's cool. Find the purple ring, okay. The, all the rings are over here, so you just gotta explore. I'm pretty sure it's on this side, I'm not completely positive. I remember jumping around the yeah, other it is. Okay. Do I have to go from the top? Yeah, okay. So just go on the obby real quick. I love this music dude. Yeet! So yeah, to get out of the maze quickly, just jump on the hay, you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, that pretty much concludes my tutorial on the new Halloween events. I'm going to just unbox the new godly. That is awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, I definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, make sure to, I have, I don't think I have any, yeah, okay. I wasted like a lot of Robux right now unboxing. Um, definitely f focus on these cause they'll go limited. Buy the pass, that's my advice. Uh, save up, don't spend it on the cheap ones. Go for these two, they'll be more worth it. Unless you want to have all of them, in which case, do what you want. It's your life. I have five skeleton keys. I am 245 away. Uh, see, a hunt just began. It's every minute after it starts. So, yeah. Gotta be kind of fast-paced. I guess we'll end it with a little unboxing right now to see if we can get the godly. Uh, if not, that's awesome. So yeah, that's one of the pets. I already have all of these, so they'll just be getting salvaged. <laughs> Sinister, looks pretty cool. The godly is awesome. I would definitely recommend getting the pet. Usually I will side with the hoverboard side because I like hoverboards more. And I'll say, focus on hoverboard. Um, they're cool, people underestimate them, and then they have a higher demand. See, that's the godly right there. This happens to me all the time. Um, but this time, the hoverboard's not that cool. I would say, um, definitely recommend going for the pet. Even though you might not use it, it's just really cool. And then it'll go limited, and then you can say, oh, hey, I have this. Flex. Flex, flex, flex. <laughs> so yeah, let's just end it right here. We, have, we can open two more. You want to just give me the godly to end it out? No? You know, the last case before we go, just give me the godly. Alright, I guess not. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check it out. Uh, search up Ghost Simulator on Roblox. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tonight for a spooky video. This one doesn't count. Uh, tonight is Friday night, but we'll playing. We'll be playing a horror game. I'm gonna be doing a stream in just a bit here, uh, either after or before dinner. We'll see, and then uh, we'll be doing the Friday night video, and then after that, we'll be um, streaming this weekend. I hope. Uh, other than that, guys, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.